All right, with this West 2 weather update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Manolfi, live on Facebook today. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Monday, halfway in the books for some of us. Most of you should be done with your, your Monday there. But uh, I'll tell you what, we got a lot of ground to cover here. A lot going on in the tropics. So let's take a look at uh, what we have uh, uh, there. Uh, and as we do so, I want to show you uh, uh, we have six features now. The remnants of Renee have fallen apart. So we're taking one off the board. We're going in the right direction. And don't forget my motto, folks. Sharing is caring. Still plenty more features out there to watch. We're going to cover each and every one of these for you, uh, good folks, as we go through the next uh, half hour uh, or so. Uh, Jeff Neighbors, Diana Durr, Mike Long, Patty Gosen, Patty Bear, Debbie Couch, uh, Kay is in, Mary Evans, good to have you, Jamie Pennington, buenas noches to you, Rosie, Linda, Darlene, Tina, Mike, Helena, or Helen, Abby, John Yakubowski, Sharon Matthews, Frankie, Robert, uh, Linda, John, good to have each and every one of you, Paula, uh, Mike, Vera, Robert Guama, Yasmin, Deborah, uh, Deborah Cantalops, uh, Brittany Vichetti, the fish is in the house, Joyce Brown Long has popped in, Joyce, always a pleasure to have you here. On our Facebook lives, let me go ahead and share it over. Virginia, love, spreading her love in here tonight. Love that. Uh, Brenda, good to have you, by the way. Uh, Mark Carew, uh, Dina, Androsoft, and Robert, Matthew Hewitt. Uh, good to have you, my man. Good to have you. Helen from, uh, uh, let's see, Jeanette Walker, Yvonne, uh, uh, Colleen O'Neill. Wow, if he's cranking up here, going by fast. Can't keep up. I can't keep up. Oh, but I will. You know I do. Uh, all right, so that's a look. We got Trina Bullock, Susan Kudai. Who, who in here is tired of this rain? Well, I'll tell you what. It is crazy, crazy. Yeah. Let's see there. So that's a look at that. All right, so we got, all right, you guys know my motto. Sharing is caring. Don't forget. Further the Ross, Arlene Cologne. Dennis Sins, Helen, Estelle, Linda, Sandy, JoJo Lovejoy, Sharon. Uh, thank you, Jim. Uh, hey, Tony, Palm, West Palm Beach, nice and quiet. We got crushed today. We're going to go over that uh, for sure. Uh, so there's a look now. All right, so let's let's get this puppy. I think I got I think I got them all. Oh, wait, wait, one more. One more page. Sorry. You got to get her done. All right, there we go. All right, so there. let's begin now closest to home. I'm going to take a look at what the Hurricane Hunters were finding. Uh, multiple missions going on in this puppy today. Uh, you can see the red is the Air Force. They're still in there. 984 millibar. Uh, 984 is the lowest pressure. Uh, NOAA found a 92-mile-an-hour wind. And Air Force found an 84. So should still be uh, pretty close to the 5 o'clock advisory of about 100 miles an hour. So there's your CAT-2. Again, we do think that this does have the chance to become a major Category 3 hurricane. Uh, it's a short window, but we'll have to wait and see what happens here. You can see a little burst of energy uh, right around that core. Uh, let's hear the weather. Stacy, we're cooking now, girl. Uh, as Mary, Tony, I oh, hope, hope feel better. There's your look at your radar. There's a look now at the center of circulation spinning and churning and pulling off to the west-northwest only at 5 miles an hour over some incredibly warm water. Melanie Rock Johnson, happy Monday to you. We're talking tropics indeed. Anna Marie, holy cow. Mikey, yes. Jennifer Weatherby has popped in. Jenny, Jenny, always good to have you in there. All right, so look, Tuesday at 1 o'clock, 110 mile an hour winds. That is, um, that is one mile short of a major hurricane. So that's why we're saying we've got to keep a close eye on this track. Uh, could be just east of Louisiana. Back towards Mobile, a lot of storm surge up in this area. It's going to be one of the things we watch. And, of course, uh, we do have hurricane advisories up from Pensacola now, westward to New Orleans. Amy List, Karen, Josh, uh, you're welcome, Jennifer. Nighttime, it, 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 it's a distinct possibility, no doubt about that, a distinct possibility. Uh, it's one of the things that we are going to be watching uh, for sure uh, as we head through the evening. Uh, there we go. So that is a look at the hurricane advisories. Here we go. There's your tropical storm advisories. Uh, Pensacola, there you go. 
Lucy, rainfall, uh, yes, they will there. And we had some pretty pretty high rainfall totals here, too. We're going to go over that. There's your tropical storm warning right there. Pensacola to Apalachicola, latest computer models. Sunshine Cortez, hello from Port Orange. Port Orange got crushed today. Lots of rain for you. Look at the model tracks there. Up, maybe spinning and churning back to the west. We'll have to wait and see what this front will do to this thing. But let me... Uh, Let me uh, do this. So there's a look now at the water vapor channel. So what is going to cause this uh, to spin back around? Uh, that is going to be this front right in here. So as that drifts south, uh, it may kind of turn us from this way, this way, that way. We're going to have to wait and see. I think the models are at odds with, with what to do with it. But there's your, there's your core right there. And it is it's looking good. It's doing its thing. Yeah. So that's a look at that. Now there's your uh, there's your winds. There's Mobile, briefly at 30 miles an hour, uh, just a short time ago. Uh, so as this thing gets more and more to the west northwest, watch for those winds to kind of be on the uptick. There is the radar. This one's out of Mobile, and you can see that center of that eye. Uh, is offshore at about a distance of from Mobile. Boom, 125 miles. At five miles an hour, it's going to take a long time to get there. Uh, and then closer to home, remember, we've got all these bands. They're coming ashore. They're coming in. They're kind of being sucked up on the eastern side, so they're coming our way. Uh, that so there's that so there, look you got bands here one two a couple showers up there we get a close-up inspection let's kind of uh, zoom it in here Ooh. let's do that so that let's see here uh, a couple more shout outs Mary Evans we got you Pamela Jacques Lopez Joe Ocker Lisa terrible headaches Ooh. Lisa, sorry to hear that. Uh, Sammy the Bull, Nick Self, uh, uh, Jan Janelle Vega. Eh, let's hope not, girl. Uh, mobile has it down. Denise could be this. Could be their year. Could be their year. Uh, let's see. You have to track. Fifteen years. Is that right? It's been that long. Uh, let's see, Christian Whitaker, Tim Trobel, Elizabeth Hart, Yvette Alvarez, Maria, uh, Mark Antonis. Uh, Teddy, Teddy is not coming our way. Uh, oh, Rafa, thank you for the update there. Lisa, uh, Earl Foles, tis the season. It so is. Uh, there we go. Uh, Je Jenny Feinberg has popped in. Who else we got? We got Jenny, Kathy, um, Thomas McCreary. Uh, we got Kathy Williams. Quay, Joito, Terry Lottie, Diana Balboa, Will Reyes, uh, Terry Fox Dyer. So that, okay, yeah, so let's get back to the uh, the radar there. Tim White, Emily West has popped in. Uh, there's the Westmeister. Uh, there, there it is. So there's our, look at our rain. Uh, Annabelle Sanchez, Jennifer jo Johansson. Look at that. We got a good crowd in here. You guys know my motto. Sharing is caring, of course. Uh, thanks for the update. E. West, you're welcome. Paisley's in. Joe Ocker's in. Uh, just stay away from Central Florida, says Lewis. We're going to get back to the rest of the tropics, but I've got to show you. Uh, we had multiple flood advisories today. A lot of people were getting wet, crushed on, in fact. Uh, thank you. Oh, look at the nice comments going by. You guys are too kind. No one at Crest. Uh, did they miss the extra point, the Steelers? That's their match. Giants are hanging in tough. Steelers are a good team. Yes, they are. There we go. Uh, I'll tell you other weather man, make it snow. <laughs> uh, Mary Evans, we love you too. Deborah Coffee, good to have you in here. By the way, I'm strong on coffee. I can use some of that coffee. Yums. Uh, 
Uh, let's see here. Someone is going to lose a trade. <laughs> Anthony, why you got to be like that? Didn't it rain in Melbourne? It's been inland areas today. Yes, they missed. Thank you. Hey, Tony, thanks for the info. Juliet Quintero, no problemo. Yvette Alvarez has popped in. Let's see, there's Sue Wagoner popping in. All right, so, all right, there's the rain totals. Check this out, 5.05, .05, and then we go right back to the tropics. I'm just going back and forth, mixing it up. Yeah. Deltona, 5.68 inches of rain. Orange City, 5.4 inches of rain. Uh, DeBerry, 4.25. Enterprise, 3.75 inches of rain. A lot of rain. And then look at the short range here. Let's see here. There you go. Let's see here. So there's tomorrow. Boom. There's Sally. Just kind of sitting there. Not stalling, but it's certainly not moving. There you go. So that's a look at that. There we go. 7 a.m. showers develop. I think this is underdone for tomorrow. I do think the heaviest will be along the West Coast, though. That I do agree with for most of the day. So there you go. And then uh, rainfall amounts before we get back to the tropics. You can see several clusters of one, two, maybe even three inches of rain. It's filling up my lake, says Victoria. Lots of rain, says Mary. Genesis Evans saying, boom. Uh, orange. Orange X. Uh, Thomas McCullough, can you show us Orange X? Thomas, I'm not sure what you're asking. Can you uh, rephrase that? Uh, uh, Francesca, good to have you. Appreciate you popping in. Uh, Tom Snyder, Margie, uh, Columbia County. Uh, Margie, yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll definitely get some. There's a look at the temperatures. Uh, 85 to 90. There we go. So there's a look at Wednesday, Thursday. There's that system going up. We're on the warm side of it, which means that over the next couple of days, we are going to have rain. Some of that's going to be adding on up. Look it up north. Palm Coast potentially, potentially. Potentially four to five inches of rain. Folks, that's a lot of rain. So that's one thing we're going to have to watch. All right, back to the tropics. I know a lot of you guys are curious about the other stuff. Frank, good to have you there. Uh, Orlando, so far, so, yes, I'm in Orlando, and, and Orlando's going to get some rain. Uh, Noni Noni, good to have you up there. Autumn Autumn is in the air this week. Mike Long, I wish. Uh, not, not in uh, central Florida. All right, so let's go back to Sally. Kind of recap this puppy here for you. Espresso candy this evening. Uh, Melly Rock, no, I've I've laid off. I've, I've got a lot to talk about, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stay away. So that's that. So there's Sally. Let's do this. There we go. Uh, let's see. Here. So there we go. Tuesday, 1 o'clock. There's co comedians in here tonight. JC, Greg, Jennifer. Jennifer, always a pleasure to have you in here. Thank you for popping in, saying hi. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at that. Let's see here. Francesco Sharknado. I know we got a bunch out there, don't we? Let's see there. There's a look at that. Boom. Hurricane Sally. 
All right, let's switch gears. Talked about Sally. Time to pivot uh, to Pauline. We're pivoting to Pauline. There we go. Bermuda got hit with Paulette. Pretty powerful storm. And Bermuda may not be done. Maybe done with Paulette. That, will, that one should fall apart around the Azores, but could become a major hurricane. Uh, there we go. Let's a look at that. There's Paulette. Uh, and then uh, the models on Paulette, by the way, look like this. Uh, somebody was asking me, are there any advisories out there for Central Florida? Right now, the answer is no. A good question. Uh, see, Frank, we got Nikki, Nisi Cabrera, sorry. Uh, we're, we're getting there. Uh, Bermuda's doing okay, but the Chris, Christina Justice, Duchess of York has popped in Yukon Capo Greco. Kenny Gottlieb, Mary Evans, Candy Fry, Christopher Collins, Jessica Strobel, JC Barber. You have a wonderful night, uh, Jennifer. Uh, Mikey Long has popped in. Oh, we got a lot of people. I appreciate you guys sharing these, these Facebook live feeds. Christopher, thank you. Uh, Victoria Magoot, could it back up? I, you know, I doubt it. I mean, usually when you get that far north, the answer is no. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. There's the model. So that's Paulette. All right. So let's. There's there's Paulette. There's the models on Paulette, as you guys saw. And then we go to what was once tropical depression 20s now Teddy. Some of you were asking about Teddy. Uh, so here you go. Uh -huh. There's Teddy. Off towards the west for now, but should move more to the northwest uh, as we get deeper into the evening. There we go. So there's Teddy. Again, potentially yet another major hurricane, folks. Um, so that's something we're going to watch. We're watching potentially Sally. We had Paulette's going to could potentially become one. Teddy could potentially become one. Uh, so a lot going on here. All right, so there's there's Teddy. The model's on Teddy. Somebody was asking about that. Uh, Yukon Capo. Uh, this is why Bermuda's not done yet. There's Teddy. Uh, could be, could be honing in on that area as we go through late next week. Again, here's the cone right there. And then boom. So Saturday, Cat 3 hurricane. And then early next week, it could be moving towards Bermuda. We'll see. Now, Vicky is now a remnant low. It has fallen apart. No longer uh, there, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Good news on that front. Mike Long, Stephanie Bonanno, Magzag. Sad for Bermuda. Yes, indeed. So here's a look at what we got. There's uh, Vicky right there. Is now falling apart. Vicky's Denozo. So that one fell apart real quickly there. That's good news. And then the bottom line here on this next feature. Uh, Diana New York Rican, uh, Rican has popped in. Tim Robel. Uh, I don't think so, uh, Tim. That's a great question. There we go. There we go. Uh, Renee fell apart. That's right, UConn. Good news on that front. So there's uh, our next wave that is now coming off the coast of Africa. This one will continue to work off towards the west or the west-northwest. Uh, next five days, and conditions are favorable for development. So that is something that we are going to be watching. Nancy Powers. Nancy, good to have you there, girl. Thank you for popping in and, and saying hi. Uh, Camilla Jones has popped in. All right, so there's a look at the tropical models. Uh, Sally, Renee, Teddy. So Teddy, if the GFS is right, catches it on the west side. The euro would be east of there. So that's a look at those two back-to-back -to -back together. 
and we'll keep uh, we'll keep tabs on that there for you. Uh, so that's good. Now, Jennifer Lynn has popped in. Shh, shh, Jennifer Lynn. Shh. Honey, thank you, uh, Yolanda Ros uh, Rosario. Uh, you got it, my friend. You got it anytime. That's what I'm here for. Let's take a look at the European Raw. You can see right there. Lots of features out there. There's 917. Sally lifting up to the east, northeast. And then there's Teddy, maybe potentially merging as one down the road. Uh, and then at the very end there on the Euro, notice how there's something east of Miami and something uh, northwest of Cancun. That's the Euro. Let's take a look at the GFS. Uh, Mary Evans, great question. Uh, Forrest, hello to you. Uh, you, Kyle, we can't keep this pace for too much longer, so I'm, I'm going to have to uh, agree with you there, young lady, on that. All right, so there's this is the American GFS model. See what it does. It just kind of has um, features. Sally dying out across the Georgia Florida line. There's Teddy uh, going up towards Bermuda. Uh, worst of it would be just east. And then over Florida, kind of a disturbed, just jumped uh, wave there that we, that we would definitely want to watch. So there you go. Uh, Michael Reed, it has been an active season. In fact, let's put that into perspective. The last name on the 2020 Storms Storm names list is Wilfred, and Wilfred could easily be that next wave that's coming off the west coast of Africa. Uh, Some lives in Pensacola. Gail, we're going to have to watch it for him. Uh, we'll go back to that in a second. Chris, Geraldine, good to have you there. Uh, so when you take a look at the Greek alphabet, which we are definitely going to be going Greek here, uh, November the 30th is the end. That is correct, Geraldine. Uh, alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. Uh, epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Z, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Upsilon, Phi, Chi, Psi, Omega. So there you have it. Those, that's the uh, Greek alphabet. Uh, 24 letters, names, excuse me. Not uh, 21 that we used in the regular 2020 list. Just FYI, folks. Uh, let's see, Sabrina, why know you? You know, it's not a unique name. Hello, chat, and Tony. Sabrina, good to have you there. Al, good to have you there. Uh, Patricia Perez has popped in. Patio, good to have you there. Oh, uh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, so there you go. That's a look at that. Faith Richard, Michael, we got Jennifer Lynn has popped in. We got AJ Strickland, uh, Kilo Imu, we've got you. We got uh, Yukon Capo. Uh, Kilo Imu, we got Emily West, Chris Kelton. Uh, oof, that would be crazy, Chris. Uh, thank you, Juan. Appreciate that. This is not the first time we would be using the Greek alphabet. Uh, in fact, you take a look at the 2005 season. We used that was the last time we went Greek. By the way, we used six six Greek names. Um, you take a look now at the hurricane season. We've had 20 name storms. Now I need to update this graphic. Uh, so um, something we're going to have to watch. Pronounced Z and Chai. Had to learn them once. Zai and Chai. Zai. There you go. Thanks for the shout out. You got it. Uh, well, you know, yeah, it is. Anything is possible. Let's hope. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Let's stay positive, right? There we go. Arthur, Bertha, Cristobal. So 20 name storms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hurricanes. So I'm going to make a quick little update there. Uh, 20 name storms. 20 name storms. Um, let's do this. There we go. And 
that six hurricanes. Just making a tweak on the air. Sorry about that, there, folks. Uh, so there we go. There's your update. Twenty hurricane, uh, twenty name storms, six hurricanes, and seven. Uh, let's see, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hurricanes, and one of them being a major hurricane. So there's your Greek alphabet, of course, right there. Uh, so we did six in 2005, meaning we got the alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, and zeta. Uh, let's see. So that's a look at that. All right. Somebody wanted to see the seven day. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Any full chances? There we go. 89, 90, 91, 91. And then Saturday at 70%. Yeah, uh, let's see. So that's a look there. So definitely wet. To look at that. So that's the seven day. That's what we're looking at there. Uh, Chris Kelton, Michelle Corbet. Uh, let's see if it's still raining down there. Let's a look at that. Uh, Saquon looking good. It's a tough game there. Let's see, they're hanging in there though with the Steelers. Uh, yes, it is. It is wet, Emily. Right, definitely wet down there in celebration. Uh, no flood advisories, but uh, looks like you're going to stay wet. See, it's 8.28. That line's going down probably for at least another hour. So enjoy the uh, enjoy the cooler weather uh, with, that, uh, with that rain coming over your way. Tanya, you're welcome uh, for the coverage. Emily West, you are welcome uh, for the coverage. And I thank you for uh, your feedback and your pictures, folks, and your intel, your information in your neighborhood. Uh, enjoying the night temps in Winter Garden, says Michelle. Uh, so, yeah, so that's the rain there. Someone was talking about up in uh, Lake Panasofsky. Yep, it's coming that way, too. But for the most part, it is beginning to wind down. Now, the weather around uh, the United States. There we go. There it is. We've got uh, multiple features there. So, got a hurricane north of Bermuda. Got a hurricane in the Gulf. Got a little feature off the... the Coast of Texas. There we go. Weather feels good here in Sanford. Terra Lynn, yep. Brendan, nice. Uh, Kaylee, you're welcome. So, yeah, so that's the weather around the United States. Temperature wise, though, someone was asking me is are there any signs of fall? And the answer is definitively yes. Look at New England, 50s and 60s, 90 in Billings. And then when we go north of the border, Colorado feels great here too, says Emily West. Yes, it does, I'm sure. Not quite open the window weather and let that cool breeze blow in on you. Not there yet. Not there yet. A couple weeks, I think we'll be, we'll be just fine. There you go. Anuvik, look at the 20s now. Fort Ross, 
26, the coldest temperature I've seen up there in September. A piece of that's going to try to drop south. Hot out west, cool in the northeast. Cancun, 84. There you go, Brad. Christina Figueroa, good to have you there, Miss Texas. Uh, Michelle Corbet, my maternal family is in Bermuda. Oh, did not know that. Uh, so you tell me, brother, you're always here for us. Yes, I am. Uh, Emily's saying she can't wait for that cool breeze to come in. I think a lot of people are in that in that camp, and we've got what 100 and uh, let me see what do we have here? How many? 116 days above 90 degrees. So yeah, I'm right there with you. Totally there with you. I'm ready for some cooler fall or weather for sure. Crazy weather, crazy wildfires, Dave. Yep, uh, Anna Adamska. It's been a long time, girl. Good to have you back in. Prayers for your family, Teresa, uh, to our friend there in Bermuda. All right. Let me go ahead and finish the temperature tour here around the globe. I know we have uh, some international folks here that will want to uh, cover the globe for them. Belize City, 86. Caracas, 79. Bogota, 55. La Paz, 45. Punta Arenas, 36. So there's a look at uh, Punta Arenas, heading back to the east there. Yep, getting there. There's Cape Town. Uh -huh. So let's see. Oh, somebody wanted me to back it up to South America. Uh, there's Asuncion, uh, 64, Brasilia, 77, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Buenos Aires coming in at 57, Santiago, 63, and there's Punta Arenas, Chile, 36. Uh, we get up towards uh, the Saharan Desert, 80s and 90s. Remember, it's overnight there now, and it's still that warm. There's Moscow, 52. So there's Oslo, 55, Moscow, 52, Sergut, 54, Bratsk, 48, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, 37, uh, Yakutsk coming in at 52, Beijing, 66, Sapporo, 64, uh, oops, too fast there. Uh, let's see here, Linda, good to have you, uh, Kenya. Uh, we go Greek, Kenya, as we were just saying a couple minutes ago. We're gonna go, I'll show you the Greek alphabet here in a second. Uh, so there's a look at Hong Kong, 82. Down under, beginning to show signs of spring and warming up. Remember, uh, 64 in Wiesbaden, my hometown. Wiesbaden, is that Germany? Where, where's Wiesbaden? That sounds German to me. Could be wrong, Nikki. Uh, Yakutsk, says David Fowler. Uh, Kenya, Lee Ruiz wants to know what happens when we finish the alphabet. Well, we go from the English... American alphabet to the Greek alphabet. Back in 2005, we got to Zeta. Six name storms. There we go. So that is a look at that. All right, let's wrap this up now with a look now at that seven day forecast. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Friday, upper 80s to low 90s. Uh, there's Saturday. and so, so Sunday, our front will actually drop in. And I think we'll actually, it's not going to be cold, but it's certainly going to be a bit cooler than uh, where we've been in a while. So that's going to feel good. I think by Monday and Tuesday, those temps may actually be in the upper 60s up there in Marion and Flagler counties. Of course, we'll keep you posted uh, on that. So there you go. All right, gang. The O-Snap says Kenyon. 
<laughs> no, Jack, you're welcome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. i make some updates here. Uh, but you guys are always a fantastic group. Love you guys. Love your questions. Love your feedback. And uh, remember, I do these Facebook Lives each night around 8 o'clock for those of you that maybe you're in here for your first time, our version Facebook timers with, uh, with Tony. Uh, if, if you are, I'll send you an invite. Like and follow the page, and every time I go live, you'll get a little quick notification. And, uh, again, I usually do Monday through Friday because I'm off on the weekends around 8 o'clock in the evening. Obviously, if something severe is going on, I'll get on a bit early. But, anyway, going to make some updates here. Get ready for tonight's 10 on the CW18 and, of course, at 11 on West 2. You guys are a great group. Stay safe, wear your mask, and we want you guys to stay healthy. See you tomorrow night.